Hi, my name is Julian Sanchez. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. My joke is, how do you make an egg roll? You push it. Bye, thank you. I love your jokes. They're so funny. This is Joel from San Pedro. The grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender walks over to him and says, Hey, you know, there's a drink named after you. The grasshopper looks surprised and he says, Really? You have a drink named Bill? Yeah, hey, this is Johnny B. in Clawson, Michigan. I got a dad joke for you. Hey, how did the $6 million man's nemesis take him down? He gave him an antibiotic. Hey, Bob, Ford Bosman here from San Carlos, Missouri. In honor of the king, here are some more jokes for Elvis week. I recently got a robocall offering me either a hundred bucks for tickets to see an Elvis Presley tribute band play. I was told to press one for the money, two for the show. In sad news, however, my pet mouse Elvis died yesterday. He was caught in a trap. In happier news, I found recently an Elvis themed restaurant that's strictly for carnivorous folk, particularly people who love meat tender. At other restaurants, however, you know what gets shook up in your salad, right? Elvis Parsley. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Bob from Granite Bay, California. What did one runny nose say to the other runny nose? Boy, we really blew through that box of Kleenex, didn't we? That's it. Bye. Yeah, Richard Lodge, Mansfield, Arkansas. I was listening to a football game the other day. I found it very interesting because on one of the teams, the running back had a prosthetic hand. First running back ever to play football with a prosthetic hand. I felt bad because in his first play, he fumbled the ball. Then again, after listening to what the announcer said, I can understand why he fumbled the ball because the announcer said from the first play of the scrimmage, he took the hand off. Hmm. Of course he fumbled. <laughs> yeah, Richard Lodge from Mansfield, Arkansas. Last year I went to a Halloween party and this little kid was trying to dress up like mosquito repellent. He looked like he was a little off to me. Hi, my name is Hannah from Clovis, California. And here's my dad joke. What do you call bad dessert? Off-putting. Hi, Bob. This is Craig from Chicago with some portmanteau dad jokes. What is the best way to remove grass stains after you mow the yard? Do your lawn dirty. What's the best exercise to do when you don't feel like working out? Hop on the treadmill. And what's the worst portmanteau for a man's private area? Peanuts. Hi, this is Derek Gavon from Reno, Nevada. What's black, white, and red all over and cannot turn around in an elevator? A nun with a spear through her. Hi, Andy Goldstein, Cataluma, California. Why did all the restaurants in Athens close down? Grease fires. Thanks. I know. Joe Siegling, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Did you hear that the guy who wrote the Hokey Pokey died? Yeah. I mean, it was really hard in the funeral home getting him in the coffin. I mean, they put his left foot in. And that's it for this special fan edition episode of the Daily Dad Jokes podcast. Thank you so much to our loyal fans for calling in. If you would like to submit your own dad jokes to my voicemail, with the best ones to be included in my show, just leave your name, the city and state you live in, and your best dad joke. Call 978-393-1076. I'll repeat that number, it's 978-393-1076 
or check the show notes page for the number. I look forward to hearing from you.